So I really feel like a princess. It's a very simple but chic dress. And of course she was a big muse of Hermes. A really nice Grace Kelly makeup trick. And I got my favorite flavors which is Hi guys, I'm Francisca Nazarenos, a Parisian by choice, and today Parisian Vibe invited me to spend a day as Grace Kelly with them. Grace Kelly was actually one of the biggest Hollywood stars of all time and later became the Princess of Monaco of what is known as the most fairy tale marriage of their generation. But she was also a style inspiration to women to this day. So today we want to step into the shoes of Grace Kelly to see what makes her influence so enduring through the decades. So let's get started, we have a very busy agenda. For my day as Grace Kelly, I chose the beautiful Bristol Hotel, which is perfectly located in the center of Paris. And this is, by the way, where Grace Kelly used to stay when being in Paris. So now I'm going to have a breakfast with a view in my room. So let's order something Grace Kelly would actually love. So according to some sources, Grace Kelly practiced the 11th diet. So she would rather eat an oatmeal or yogurt with berries for dessert, but the characters in her movies have a much more extravagant um, diet. So she would go to extraordinary restaurants or set beautiful tables for meals and she would drink a lot of cocktails like in the movie High Society. So guys, this is actually the wardrobe I picked for my day is Grace Kelly. You know, she was always very, very chic, uh, timeless, but also a little bit of extravagant, especially on her on-screen style. That's This is why I chose this magnificent dress for my day look, yes. With this dress, I will definitely buy some macarons and run my daily errands in Paris, so stay tuned for this. What I actually also love a lot is this slip dress. I think it's just perfect for when being here at the hotel, spending my morning here, getting ready with my hair. And last but not least, it's probably the simplest and most casual look of those three outfits. It's simply a white shirt and a denim or trousers. So very cozy for the evening. And for hair and makeup, we will focus on the classic Hitchcock image. So I will of course share with you a really nice Grace Kelly makeup trick. And one of the most famous facts about Grace Kelly is that she met the Prince of Monaco at the Cannes Film Festival. The two fell in love and their romance turned into the most high profile marriage of their generation. But what you might not know though, is that even being the queen of Monaco, she did her own makeup and hair. So let's first start with the makeup. You see, I actually already have my base on. I've already put a good lipstick because I of course wanted to look very beautiful for you. But the trick of Grace Kelly was contouring. Yes, this was her signature touch. So she used a darker shade of blush like this and a lighter one to give definition to her cheekbones and that's actually it so you see that contouring actually was already a thing in the 50s for women so guys, this is the iconic Grace Kelly look that I did with my very long hair, but I think we did a really good job. So 
The Grace Kelly old Hollywood hair look is all about waves, especially these wonderful defined wave. And we will now show you how we did this. So Sophie is right now preparing the curls and she's using a curler, right Sophie? Yes. And uh, a tip from us, you either need a curler, rollers or a curling iron for the curls and it's super important that you do the curls in the same direction for the iconic Grace Kelly waves. So Sophie, can you tell us what you have done now? Yes, for the two sections in front, I have to put some pins here to maintain the wave and to define it completely. And after I put some spray on it just to fix it. And what are we gonna do after this? Oh, we're just gonna release the section like that and it stays. So now I'm perfectly ready, dressed in Grace Kelly's on-screen style. So I really feel like a princess or a character of an iconic movie like To Catch a Thief. And this is also when I really want to thank the streaming platform Mubi for sponsoring this video, this episode and supporting our channel. Mubi is a curated streaming service, a place to watch beautiful, interesting and incredible cinema. Every day, Mubi premieres a new film, from iconic directors to emerging authors. There's always something new to discover. With Mubi, each and every film is hand-selected. It's like your own personal film festival, streaming anytime, anywhere. Get a whole month free at mubi.com slash Parisian Vibe. just bought some macarons at one of my favorite store which is La Durée in the first arrondissement and I got my favorite flavors which is vanilla, framboise and pistache. I'm having an Aperol spritz as I see that a lot of people here are also drinking wine. Drinking cocktails like Grace Kelly. So Everyone dreams of Grace Kelly's beautiful and wonderful marriage, but just a few people actually know that she had to pay to uh, marry Prince Rainier. The dowry was, I think, two million dollars, which would be 20 million dollars today. And in order to pay the dowry um, to the House of Grimaldi, which is the royal family of Monaco, Grace had to spend all the money she had earned and her acting jobs and also the inheritance left by, to her by her wealthy family. So at the time of the wedding, Grace Kelly was actually the highest paid actress in Hollywood. And I think that is kind of inspiring, especially now for a woman to be so independent. And that was in the 50s. For the afternoon stroll, I changed into a more casual look, something that Grace Kelly would probably also wear in her daily life. Because for you to know, of course, on screen her style was very extravagant, but in real life she loved to wear a white shirt and comfortable trousers. That's why I'm paying tribute to her. And of course she was a big muse of Hermes and also a fan of Hermes, so she loved to wear 
a silk scarf like this one and um, you can of course rewear it in your hair on your arm wrist however you want to and I'm paying very special tribute to Grace Kelly by wearing a Hermes Kelly bag which is of course one of the biggest bag items of the brand Hermes and you see maybe right now I'm standing in front of an exposition auction at Christie's because actually um, there is right now when we are filming this episode an auction a huge auction of 70 bags or so um, Hermes bags so um, I will definitely have a look and will leave you here Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed our adventure as a, um, of a day as Grace Kelly. So tell me which outfit you like the most and which movie is your favorite.